Unit 1. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. The Great Wall of China was built more than 2,300 years ago to protect China from invaders. It runs along which was once the northern border of the country. The wall is more than 2,400 kilometers long and 8 meters high. It was wide enough for the top and was used as a road. Towers were built into the wall and soldiers were kept there to guard the country. In the 13th century, however, invaders from Mongolia crossed the wall and occupied most of the China. Today, the Great Wall of China is the only thing built by humans that can be seen from satellites in space. Unit 4. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. A rocket is a type of engine. It can produce about 3,000 times more power than automobile engines of the same size. Rockets have been used in wars for hundreds of years. In the 1200s, Chinese soldiers used them to fire against armies who attacked them. Scientists used rockets for research and exploration of space. Rockets also carry scientific instruments into space to explore the air surrounding the Earth, the Moon and the other planets. Unit 7. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Samsung is a famous company that makes lots of things like phones, TVs and home stuff. Their phones are super popular because they look great, have colorful screens, and are easy to use. Samsung has many different phone types in different budgets. People really like Samsung phones because they keep adding cool new things like better cameras. They also produce faster chips. Their Galaxy phones are loved by many and have lots of features for using. Samsung is really good at making phones and many people all over the world like them. They work hard to make their phones even better. If you want a good phone, Samsung has one that's just right for you. Unit 10. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Argentina is a beautiful country located in South America. Argentina is famous for its delicious food. One of its most beautiful dishes is a beef stick called an asado. Tango is rhythmic dance and originated in Argentina. Tango is loved worldwide. Football is a huge part of the Argentina culture, with many talented players. Buenos Aires is the capital city of Argentina. It has outstanding architecture. The country is home to many historical sites. The Argentinians are friendly and welcoming. They enjoy spending time with family and friends. Overall, Argentina is a captivating country with a rich culture and a love for both dance and sports. Its history, traditions, and warm hospitality make it a special destination for travelers and a fascinating place to learn about. Unit 13. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Egypt is a country in Africa with a long history. It is in the northeastern part of the continent. The Mediterranean Sea is to the north, Sudan is to the south, the Red Sea is to the east, and Libya is to the west. The Nile River is the longest river globally and flows through Egypt. It makes the land fertile and helps the people there. 
Egypt is famous for its ancient pyramids and the Sphinx. Many tourists visit these landmarks and learn about the country's past. The weather in Egypt is usually hot and dry, and people often wear light clothing. The food is delicious, with dishes like kebabs, falafel, and hummus being popular. Traditional music and dance are also a significant part of Egypt's culture. Overall, Egypt's unique history, landmarks, and culture make it a fascinating place to visit. Unit 16. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Paris was founded as a small settlement on the left bank of the River Seine. It was declared a capital city in 987. Paris has remained the capital city throughout the long history of France. There were a lot of rulers in the history of the city. For example, Philip II came to the throne and ruled in the country from 1180 to 1223. It was the beginning of the best periods in the history of Paris. The construction of the Louvre started. The university was founded in 1215 and the Cathedral of Paris was under construction. There are many historical monuments, buildings and bridges crossing the River Seine. One is the Alexander III Bridge, built in 1900, named after Alexander III, whose son Nicholas II opened the bridge. Unit 19. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. China is a big country in Asia, and it's known for its rich history and different culture. It is the most populated country in the world, with lots of people living there. China has many famous landmarks like the Great Wall, which is very long and old. Chinese food is loved all around the world, with dishes like dumplings and fried rice being popular. The country has made great advancements in technology and is a major player in the global economy. Chinese people use special characters in their writing which is different from the letters we use. Overall, China is an interesting and important country with lots of fascinating things to learn about. It's also famous for its traditional arts, like calligraphy and Chinese painting, which have been admired for centuries. Unit 22. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Benjamin Franklin was one of the most important Americans in history. In the early part of his life, Franklin was a business person and inventor. He published the Pennsylvania newspaper and other magazines. Benjamin Franklin also invented the Franklin stuff, lightning stick, and eyeglasses. He started America's first library as well. He is best known for his scientific experiments. Franklin was also became interested in politics. He spent many years in England before coming back to America. In 1776, Franklin helped Thomas Jefferson write the Declaration of Independence. Two years later, he went to France and blamed the French to help America in the war against England. After the war, Franklin joined the Continental Congress and signed the Constitution. He died in 1790. Today, Benjamin Franklin is honored on the $100 bill. His name is also honored on highways, schools, and business companies in the United States of America. Unit 25. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. 
identical twins have the same eyes and the same hair. But do they do the same things? What do they do in their free time? Mona and Helen Mulgray are 84 years old. They love books and they write books together. They live in the same house and they like the same free time activities. They like gardening and at the weekend they go walking together. Camille and Kenny Lekit are musicians and actors. They both play the same musical instrument, the harp. They don't have much free time, but they do take one dough and they like swimming together, of course. Mike and Bob love playing tennis. They are professional players and they play tennis all over the world. In their free time, they watch films and play computer games. But they don't do everything together. On their day off, Bob likes going to the gym, but Mike doesn't. He likes meeting friends at the beach. Unit 28. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. There is an idea that the life of Japanese people on average is much longer than that of the Europeans. It may be considered that this happens due to the food eaten by most Japanese people since childhood. As to their lifestyle, one shouldn't consider modern Japan life less stressful than that of people living in the West. The Japanese fish and rice diet is what they largely live on. Traditionally, at lunchtime, a typical Japanese family eat more vegetables than European people. If to compare them with Europeans, the Japanese consume far less meat and fewer potatoes. At the same time, they eat seven times more fresh fish than Europeans, which makes their diet much healthier. On average, the Japanese use far less sugar than the Europeans, and the modern Japanese, who often visit Europe on business, sightseeing, or for pleasure, discover the good and bad sides of Western-style eating habits. Unit 31 Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Coca-Cola is a famous and loved drink enjoyed all over the world. It started in 1886 by John S. Pemberton in Atlanta, Georgia, USA. Coca-Cola is known for its tasty and fizzy cola drink. It is loved for its unique flavor and refreshing bubbles. People quickly liked it, making it a top choice for many with options like regular and diet. Families, friends, and people of all ages enjoy this delightful drink. Coca-Cola is easy to find everywhere, and its fun advertisements make Coca-Cola memorable. It's a symbol of happiness and togetherness. As Coca-Cola has grown, it keeps introducing new tastes and packaging options to suit everyone. It's found in many countries, showing its global presence. In conclusion, Coca-Cola's widespread popularity makes it a drink enjoyed by people worldwide. It is a drink that brings joy to many. Unit 34 Listen to the passage and answer the questions. The panda is a unique member of the bear family. This playful animal is about 150 centimeters in length. Its weight is about 100 to 150 kilograms. Pandas are known for their typical black and white colors. Their eyes Ears, legs, and shoulders are black, but their fur is white. Pandas live in mild climates, 
and pine tree forests, where there is plenty of bamboo. They prefer eating bamboo leaves and stems. Most panda bears spend a lot of time walking around their territory searching for bamboo. A panda eats about 12 to 38 kilograms of bamboo a day. Today, the panda can be found in about 20 areas of mountain forests in China. The panda is considered an endangered species. Its habitat is destroyed by global warming or impacts from people. Pandas also love sleeping. Young pandas are as kids and they like to have fun. They are very energetic and good climbers as well. Panda bears can live about 15 or 25 years. Unit 37 Listen to the passage and answer the questions. The sloth is one of the most loved and the laziest animals in the world. They live in the tropical forests of Central and South America. With their long arms and hairy fur, they resemble monkeys. These animals can be two to 2.5 feet long and weigh from four to eight kilograms. In fact, they're incredibly slow. Sloths are blind in bright daylight. Their bad eyesight also plays a key role in their slow slowness. That's why they don't run fast. They can sleep 15 to 20 hours a day. Even when lazy sloths are awake, they don't move at all. They eat a lot of leaves and fruits. They hardly come down from the trees, but they hang upside down. However, sloths are faster in the water than they are on the land. Their fur helps them avoid predators by letting them blend in with green leaves. They can turn their head 270 degrees. They have facial coloring. It makes them look as if they always smile. Unit 40. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Tigers are the largest of all cats. They are one of the most endangered animals. Like other wild cats, tigers are lonely animals. When a mother cares for her young, they are not alone. The tiger is famous for its stripes. These stripes are not only to look beautiful, but also help the tiger be mixed with the grass and trees. This also helps the tiger follow its victim at night. Tigers eat smaller animals, but even hunt leopards, bears, and young elephants and rhinos. When the tiger is close enough to its prey, it runs, jumps, and bites the animal's neck or throat with its powerful jaws. Unfortunately, the number of these amazing cats continues to reduce now. 100 years ago, 9 tiger species and 100,000 tigers moved to rainforests, snow forests, and evergreen forests of Asia. Nowadays, stealing, habitat destruction, and other human activities have made three of those species disappear. At present, only a small number of them exist in zoos and reservations. Unit 43. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. McDonald's is a well-known fast food restaurant that's loved by people all over the world. It was founded in 1940 by two brothers in California, USA. McDonald's is famous for its delicious hamburgers, crispy fries, and fresh drinks. They serve food quickly 
and at affordable prices, making it a popular choice for families, friends, and people of all ages. Over the years, McDonald's has expanded its menu to include a variety of items like salads, chicken pieces, and desserts, offering something for everyone. The friendly and inviting atmosphere at McDonald's makes it a favorite place. The restaurant has presence in numerous countries and cities. In conclusion, McDonald's remains a beloved fast food destination. With its expanding menu, McDonald's continues to be a place for people looking for enjoying a quick and delightful meal. Unit 46. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. The cactus is a plant which grows in very hot and dry places. They grow as trees or bushes. They don't have large leaves. It's bad for the cactus because the cactus needs the water to live. Water goes through the roots of cactuses. Cactuses can get water from fog in the air because it doesn't rain very much in the desert. Instead, they have thorny needles which are on their stems. There are many shapes of the cactus. Some are small and round. Others are tall like columns. Some are shaped like tubes or bells. Others are shaped like wheels. Cactus flowers are big and some of them bloom at night. It happens at night because they are fertilized by some insects or small animals that appear at night. Most cactuses grow in North and South America. We can see them in Africa, Madagascar, and Sri Lanka as well. Unit 49. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Diego Maradona was a famous football player from Argentina. He was born on October 30, 1960. He grew up in a poor neighborhood. When he was only 15 years old, he started playing for Argentina's juniors. In 1986, during the World Cup, Maradona became a hero for Argentina. He helped his team win the championship with some amazing goals. One of the goals was called the goal of the century because it was so incredible. Maradona also played for other teams like FC Barcelona and Napoli. He won championships with Napoli and was loved by the people there. However, he faced some problems in his personal life. Sadly, on November 25, 2020, Maradona passed away at the age of 60. He will always be remembered for his talent, and he inspired many people around the world who loved football. Unit 52. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Bill Gates was born on October 28, 1955, in Seattle, Washington. Bill was the second of three children in an upper-middle-class family. He enjoyed playing games with the family and was very competitive. He also loved to read. Bill became bored in public school, so his family sent him to Lakeside School, a private school, where he was excellent in math and science and did well in drama and English. Gates became interested in computer programming when he was 13. At this time, his school supported all the students to use a computer program that was funded by General Electric. And Bill Gates wrote a tic-tac-toe program using BASIC, one of the first computer languages. Then, he and his friend Paul created a company called Microsoft. Nowadays, about 85% of all computers use Microsoft programs. At present, Bill Gates is one of the richest men in the world who supports the poor, the disabled, and unhealthy people, and also education 
in poor countries. Unit 55. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Most boats don't have a specific date or place where they were invented. They often developed over many years from child's play or community games. Basketball, however, was invented in December 1891 by Dr. James Neusmith. He was a physical education teacher at a school that is known as Springfield College in Massachusetts. He believed that there needed to be an indoor game that could be played in the evenings and during the cold, snowy months of winter. Football was too rough and hazardous to play inside. The original game used seven men on each side and two peach baskets into which a ball was shot. By 1897, the game had changed and five players were on each side. By 1912, the modern ring made of net with an open bottom had replaced the peach baskets. Dr. Nightmiss laid out 13 original rules for the game. 12 of the rules are still used in the game today. Unit 58. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. The Maiden Tower is one of the wonderful monuments in the old city, Baku, Azerbaijan. Different from the Shirvan Shah's palace, it dates back to the 12th century. The Maiden Tower forms a group of historical monuments listed in 2001 under the UNESCO World Heritage List of Historical Monuments as a cultural monument. It's one of the Azerbaijan's most typical national emblems and is featured on Azerbaijan manats and official letters as well. The Maiden Tower owns a museum inside which presents the story of historic development of the Baku city. It also has a gift shop. The view from the top takes you to the alleys and minarets of the old city, the Baku Boulevard, the De Gaulle House, and the wide view of the Baku Bay. The Maiden Tower is an attractive place for tourists and also world-famous landmark in Baku, in the Republic of Azerbaijan. The tower is covered by cloud of mysteries and folklore, which are dated back to the history and national culture of Azerbaijan. The tower represents Azerbaijan's culture and national heritage in the world. Unit 61. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Chess is called the game of kings. It has been around for a long time. People have been playing it for over 500 years. Chess is an old game that came from India. The chess we play today is from Europe and is played in Asia as well. Chess is a two-player game. One player uses the white figures, the other uses the black figures. Each figure moves in a special way. One figure is called the king. Each player has one king. The players take turns moving their figures. The game ends when a player loses his or her king. There are a few more rules, but those are the basics. Some people think that chess is more than a game. They also think that it makes the mind stronger. Good chess players use their brains as they think about what will happen next. These skills are useful in life and in chess. As a result, chess is a kind of training for the mind too. Unit 64 Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Isaac Newton was a famous English physicist and mathematician. He is considered one of the greatest scientists of all time. Isaac Newton was born on January 4, 1643 in England. He was the only son of a wealthy local farmer. His father died three months before Isaac was born. When Newton was three years old, his mother married again. 
leaving young Isaac with his grandmother. At the age of 12, with the help of his uncle, Isaac started studying at Trinity College, Cambridge. He was a little older than the other students. At Cambridge, Newton became interested in science. When the university was closed in 1665 because of an epidemic disease, he returned home and continued his studies privately. During this time, he made many of his famous discoveries. He discovered the law of gravity by watching an apple fall from a tree. Newton finished his studies before he was 27. He went on to become a professor and published some important work on optics. At the end of his life, Newton was one of the most famous people in Europe. He became very rich and he gave some of his money to charity. Unit 67. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. The Oscars, also known as the Academy Awards, are famous movie awards. The Oscars are held every year to celebrate the best films and talented people in the movie industry. They began in 1929 and have become a much-awaited event for movie lovers worldwide. The awards cover various categories such as Best Picture, Best Actor, Best Actress, and more. Winning Oscar can bring fame and new opportunities in the movie world. Before the big night, the Oscar nominees are announced, creating excitement among fans and industry professionals. Celebrities walk the red carpet at the Oscars showing their elegant cloth. The ceremony features speeches, musical performances, and funny moments. The Oscars got some criticism for not being different enough, but they are trying to fix this and make things more surrounded. But they are trying to fix this and make things more surrounded. Although there are arguments, the Oscars remain an essential part of movie culture. The Oscars inspire people, making it a special tradition in the movie world. Unit 70 Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Google is a big company that makes internet services and products. It started in 1998 and has become very popular. The main thing Google is known for is its search engine. When you want to find something on the internet, you can type it into Google search box and it will show you lots of results. Google also has other helpful products. Gmail is an email service that many people use to send and receive emails. Google Maps helps you find places and gives directions to get there. Another popular product is Google Chrome, a web browser that people use to visit websites. YouTube is a video platform owned by Google, where you can watch all kinds of videos. Google Drive is a service that lets you store and share files and documents online. Besides these, Google is involved in many other things, like developing new technologies and investing in other companies. Google's logo has four colors, blue, red, yellow, and green. It's simple and easy to recognize. Overall, Google has made a big impact on how we use the Internet, and it continues to be a significant part of our digital lives. Unit 73 Listen to the passage and answer the questions. In 1895, Nobel, a Swedish inventor, gave most of his whole wealth to establish a fund. The fund created annual prizes 
which could be awarded to the persons and organizations who had achieved the greatest benefit to humanity in a particular year. Since then, the prize has been given in the field of chemistry, physiology or medicine, literature and international peace. In 1969, a prize for economics was added by Central Bank of Sweden. All candidates for the prizes are selected by the Royal Swedish Academy and by the Norwegian Nobel Committee. The prizes are usually presented in Stockholm on December 10 with the King of Sweden. The celebrating party is organized as a tribute to Nobel on the anniversary of his death. Each prize includes a gold medal, a diploma, and a cash award of about $1 million. Unit 76. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. We live on the Earth. According to scientist researchers, there are all necessary conditions for life only on the Earth. Our planet is not the biggest. Its main territory is occupied by seas, oceans, rivers and lakes. Our planet has only one satellite, the Moon. The Earth is rich in flora and fauna. People often harm the environment. Now there are many global problems that threaten the planet with a catastrophe. Nuclear weapons, climate change, the destruction of the ozone layer, natural disasters, and environmental pollution. In order to save the planet, everyone has to take care of it. It's important to be interested in nature, to study its features, to grow plants, not to throw garbage anywhere, that is to love and protect the environment. As we know, our only home is the Earth. Unit 79 Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Amir Temur was born on April 9, 1336, in southern Uzbekistan. His father was a rich man whose name was Amir Taragay. His mother was a noble woman. Amir Temur was well educated in his family. He was strong and handsome. At his early age, he was interested in state affairs and also military activities. He spent much time on military training and got an education on it. His knowledge in geography, medicine, history and astronomy often astonished scientists. In his youth, he took part in the wars between various landowners and in one of the battles, his hand and leg were wounded. His hand recovered, but his leg remained lame. But he also took an active part in the fight of the Central Asian people for their freedom. He stopped the battles between Khans and Beks and built a powerful centralized state. He became a famous statesman and great leader of the Uzbek people. He was well known all over the world as Great Tamer Lane. Unit 82 Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Niagara Falls, the largest waterfall in the world, is located between southern Ontario in Canada and New York State in the USA. The first inhabitants who settled in the Niagara Falls region were the Iroquois. They worked as farmers and traders along the banks of the Niagara River. When the first Europeans came to the area, they also settled there. The 19th century brought the most important developments to the area. An area called the village of Manchester became an important centre for trade companies during the early years of the industrial development. Tourists started to arrive in the 1820s and they still visit here about 
for two centuries. The most comfortable way to visit Niagara Falls is a boat trip. Don't miss two other important attractions, the white water walk and the journey behind the falls. You can then go on a short journey through some tunnels which lead you behind the falls. After a day of exciting adventure, visit Niagara Square with all its shops, cinemas and boutiques. There are also lots of restaurants that serve locally grown products and regional cuisine. Don't forget the fireworks over the falls every Friday and Sunday. Unit 85 Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Many people have cars in the city, but pollution is a problem because of the traffic. Nowadays, some city centers around the world don't have cars. These no-car zones are areas for people, bicycles and public transport. Eight million people live in the center of London and another two million people go to work there every day. The city center is very noisy with hundreds of cars, buses and taxis, but there are also a lot of beautiful parks with free music concerts. At lunchtime and after work, many people go there for a break. Parts of Tokyo are always crowded with hundreds of people, but there are no cars. These modern no-car zones are very popular and people like shopping there. In the past, Bogota was polluted because there were lots of cars and traffic. Now the city center is a no-car zone and the air is clean. Many people don't have a car and half a million people go to work by bus every morning. In many cities, people don't like shopping in the center. But in Melbourne, Burke Street is popular because there are lots of great shops and no cars. It's expensive, but lots of people eat lunch in the small cafes. Unit 88. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. The United States of America, often called the USA or America, is a large country in North America. It is made up of 50 states and has a different population of people from all over the world. The capital city of the USA is a Washington, D.C., but the biggest city is New York City. America is known for its famous landmarks like the Statue of Liberty, the Grand Canyon, and the White House. The USA has a strong economy and is a global leader in technology, entertainment, and business. Many famous companies like Apple, Microsoft, and Google were started in the USA. English is the primary language spoken in the USA, and people practice various religions like Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. The country has a democratic government, where citizens vote to elect their leaders, including the president. The president is the head of the country and lives in the White House. Americans celebrate holidays like Independence Day on July 4th and Thanksgiving in November. Sports are an essential part of American culture, with American football, basketball, and baseball being popular. In the USA, people enjoy different cuisines, including hamburgers and pizza. The USA is a country with wide opportunities and a rich culture that continues to influence the world in many ways. Unit 91 Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Primary education begins in the UK at the age of 5 and continues until the age of 11. These schools are mixed, girls and boys attending the same school. Secondary school lasts for 5 years, from age 11 to 16. Between the age of 11 and 14, 
students don't participate in any public examinations. These schools may be either single gender, just boys or girls, or mixed, both boys and girls. A student automatically progresses to the next level or year and does not repeat the year even if the student has failed his or her examinations. When students complete their secondary education, they can choose further education or they can leave school. The students who plan to go to college or university can do qualifications for themselves. A British bachelor's degree normally takes three years to complete and most are awarded at owner's level. Examples of first degrees are Bachelor's of Art, Bachelor's of Engineering, and Bachelor's of Science. Unit 94 Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Birds are an enormous group of animals. They can be noticed everywhere in the world, from the frozen Antarctic to hot desert climate or oceans. In many cases, when we see a bright colored bird, it's male. Females have often light colors, which helps them not to be discovered. Every bird has its different size. But what is the tiniest bird on earth? It is the bee hummingbird. There is bee in their name because they are hardly bigger than a bumblebee. This is why their small body, they can beat their wings 80 times a second. This adorable being grew up about 55-61 millimeters. The female's weight is about 2.6. The male is 1.95 grams. Their nest isn't bigger than a golf ball. Finding the hummingbirds is so hard. The mother hummingbird lays one or two eggs, and they are around the size of coffee beans. Three weeks are enough to have chicks. These chicks need 18 days to grow their flight feathers. Everything about hummingbird is special. Unit 97. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. The plants are a type of root vegetables because they grow under the ground. Orange may be their well-known color, but their varieties include purple, yellow, red, blackish and white. These are carrots. They can be planted in almost 12 months of the year, although they need cool and balanced temperatures. Carrots mainly aren't grown in summer or in the warmer regions without different techniques. It's a source of vitamin A. In addition, it also contains vitamin K, vitamin B6, protein, carbohydrate, iron, etc. That's why these colorful vegetables have many health benefits. They improve oral health and protect teeth, prevent heart diseases and cancer, regulate blood pressure, sugar level in bodies. They develop immune system, function of livers and kidneys, eyesight, and of course beautify our skin. So, we can call them magical food. Ancient Greeks and Romans used them for their medicinal properties. Unit 100. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Imagine a lake as blue as the summer sky, surrounded by thousands of pine trees and towering mountains. It sounds like something from a storybook, but Lake Tahoe is a real place in the Sierra Nevada mountains, along the border of California and Nevada. Lake Tahoe 
as the best place for camping, skiing, sailing, fishing and hiking. In fact, people come during every season to enjoy the lake and mountains. Native Americans from the Washer tribe travel through the mountains and spend their summertime at Lake Tahoe. In fact, the name Tahoe comes from a Washer word meaning big water. The Washer were expert hunters who used the land and water for their food supply. They even created many legends about the lake. The best one is about a giant bird-like monster that lived in the middle of the lake and ate people. While people now use Lake Tahoe mostly for fun, it is still important to keep the water and land clean. California and Nevada work together to make sure these natural resources are used wisely. It would be terrible if the lake and mountains became too polluted for everyone to enjoy. There is no place as beautiful or fun for a vacation as Lake Tahoe. Unit 103. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Recycling is the process of turning used waste and materials into new products. This stops useful materials from waste. It also helps reducing energy usage and pollution. Recycling is a part of the waste clearing pyramid. Reduce, reuse and recycle. Different materials can also be recycled, including paper, plastic, glass, metal, textiles and electronic equipment. The idea of recycling isn't anything new. It is historically shown that humans have been recycling various materials for thousands of years. For example, recycled paper can be made from three different types of paper. But recycling plastics can be more difficult than other materials. Plastics are not typically recycled into the same type of plastics. Aluminium can be recycled from cans, bicycles, computers, cars, planes and other materials. So recycling is a long process, but it is useful for a clean environment. Unit 106. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Dr. Percy Julian's story is a tale of hard work, determination and bravery. He was born in 1899 in Alabama. He faced racial discrimination, but his love for chemistry drove him forward. Many schools denied him. But he finally got accepted to Harvard University. He earned his master's degree in 1923. Becoming Dr. Percy Julian in 1931, he devoted his life to studying plant chemicals. He used these chemicals in a lab to create medicines accessible to more people. His discoveries helped treat eye diseases and ease bone pain. Additionally, he invented products to fight fires and preserve food. After years of working in Chicago, he opened his own lab and started a school to train young chemists. Dr. Percy Julian passed away in 1975, but his legacy lives on. His contribution to science continued to benefit millions of people to this day. Unit 109. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. The potato has a fascinating history that dates back thousands of years. It was first cultivated in South America by ancient civilizations like the Incas. 
When the Spanish arrived in the Americas during the 16th century, they brought the potato to Europe. It quickly became popular in Europe. The potato played a significant role in feeding people during difficult times. As time passed, the potato spread to other parts of the world. It became a main food in various cuisines. Today, the potato remains one of the most essential and widely consumed foods globally. Its widespread cultivation has positive and negative environmental impacts on different regions of the world. In conclusion, the potato has become a global food. Its fascinating history continues to be part of our lives till today. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. When you think of pudding, do you picture a bowl of creamy chocolate or vanilla dessert? Most people in the United States think of pudding in the same way. But there are many kinds of pudding and not all of them are sweet. In England, pudding is eaten with breakfast, lunch or dinner. This pudding is usually not sweet. People can add butter, flour, spices and even meats such as sausage. Another kind of pudding is called Yorkshire pudding. This pudding is almost like bread and is often served with roast beef. And Christmas pudding is a sweet bread pudding that is served during holidays. It's not creamy, but made with milk. Other countries have different kinds of pudding too. For example, rice pudding is a sweet dessert popular in India and some parts of the United States. It is made with milk, sugar and rice. Noodle is also a pudding that comes from Eastern Europe. It is a baked mixture of noodles, eggs, butter and cheese. Whether you like a creamy, sweet pudding or a salty one, you can travel almost anywhere and find a pudding to suit your tastes. Unit 115 Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Leaving motherland and traveling to study, to work or just to live in a new country can be a stressful experience, although it can be something people plan. These people can find themselves in an unfamiliar territory, uncomfortable, strange, confused and uncertain. This process is called cultural shock. Cultural shock can happen when a person moves to a foreign place. It usually happens at the beginning of the new lifestyle. That's why it's normal. It doesn't appear suddenly or without any reasons because these two locations, surroundings, cultures are completely different. Symptoms of this situation may include wishing for home, depression, lacking of concentration, feeling helpless and isolated, eating or sleeping not well. To solve this problem, those who experience culture shock try to adapt and accept their new atmosphere. They should minimize the impact and be open-minded. During this stage, people learn about the country which they travel to. At the same time, these people are able to enjoy their life and work overseas. Unit 118. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Hands have very elegant and complex structure. This gives muscles and joints in the hand a great range of movement and attention. 
We can do a lot of things with our hands and fingers, such as hold objects tightly, lift every weights, and so on. Fingers are the freely movable part of our hand. Most people have five fingers on their single hand. Thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger. Thumb is the first finger. It differs from other fingers. It plays an essential role in taking and holding something. It allows people to perform different activities effectively. Index finger located next to the thumb. It's bigger than a thumb and smaller than a middle finger. We usually use it to point something or someone. Thumb and index fingers are generally used to hold the pencil for writing. Middle finger is placed between the index and ring finger. This is typically the longest. In anatomy, it is also called the third finger. It is believed the ring finger has a vein that connected directly to the heart, so it symbolizes love. Little finger is the last one and slightly smaller than the others. It is called pinky finger too. Unit 121. Netflix company was founded in 1997 by American businessmen Reed Hastings and Mark Randolph. It's one of the online services in the world. This online account offers TV shows, unlimited movies, cartoons, and more than thousands of devices through the internet. It has more than 223 million subscribers worldwide now. Users can enjoy anywhere and anytime with it. Although the company is available in more than 190 countries, there are also other countries that don't use it. For example, China, Crimea, Syria, North Korea. Customers should sign in with their Netflix account to watch directly on the verb. They can download their favorite shows with their mobile phones. There's also Netflix Kids, which has included the membership. It gives parents to control while kids take pleasure by watching it. Today's most popular service earns about $1 billion every single month. Its annual income is above $11 billion. Nowadays, Netflix is becoming popular all over the world. Unit 124. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Pineapple as a tropical fruit is found in almost all the tropical and subtropical areas of the world. This fruit was called as pine because it looks like a large pine cone. All the fruit has the name pineapple. It is neither a pine nor an apple. As a plant, six countries, Costa Rica, Brazil, the Philippines, Thailand, Indonesia, and India were the top pineapple producing countries around the world in 2013. Though we can find them every month, its season is from March to July. In the world, the biggest producer of pineapples is South Asia. A pineapple is rich in vitamin C and vitamins of the B group. The fruit has zero fat. It helps oral and eye health, supports immune system and bone strength. This fruit also reduces the risk of cancer. However, the high carbohydrate content of pineapple may not be beneficial for diabetics or people who try to lose weight. It can also lead to allergy reactions irritate the skin, and increase the risk of tooth decay because of greatly acidic nature. 
Unte 127. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. A piranha is one of freshwater fish. There are more than 60 species. They live in rivers and lakes, especially in South America, also in the Captai Lake in Southeast Bangladesh. They don't like cold water, so they require warm. If the water temperature is less than about 120 C degree, these fish don't eat anything. Piranhas can live 25 years in the wild. Although some species are 50 centimeters, they are normally 15 to 25 centimeters long. They have teeth like scissors and two strong jaws. As for most people, they eat only meat. However, this idea is wrong. Piranhas are able to eat almost anything they can find. Most piranhas are non-aggressive and shy unless they hunt or protect each other. There are two kinds of the most dangerous piranhas towards people, black and red-bellied piranhas. Researchers have shown the piranhas have a great sense of smell and respiratory system. Piranhas are generally found in South American rivers, including the San Francisco, Paraguay, and Orinoco rivers. Unit 130. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. In the most northern state of the USA, you will see every type of modern transport. But during the winter months, the state of Alaska becomes one of the coldest parts of the world. Temperatures fall as low as minus 50 Celsius. Car engines can freeze, and even if your car starts, the snow and ice on the road can make travel impossible. When the weather is like this, the best way to travel is with a team of huskies. That's according to people like Jeff Rowland, who prefer traveling by dog sledge. Huskies might not be as fast as a modern snowmobile, but they are better for the environment. The journey is also much quieter than by snowmobile. It's what makes travel through the wilderness so enjoyable. When Jeff was younger, he took part in the world's longest dog sledge race, which takes place in Alaska. The 1,600-kilometer route follows the old roads. As years passed, airplanes and snowmobiles became more common, and people started to forget about the old trails. But in 1973, a group of people started the race to maintain Alaska's history and its traditional form of transport. Some people criticize it because they think it's cruel for the dogs. Unit 133. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Traveling is very popular nowadays. A lot of people travel to different countries if they have such an opportunity. Traveling allows you to get interesting experience, learn about people's life in other countries and continents. I think it is very interesting to discover new things, new places and different ways of life. While on travel, you meet new people, try different meals, See world famous places with your own eyes. There are many ways of traveling, by train, by plane, by ship, and on foot. If you want to visit a far country, you'll definitely choose a flight. If your aim is to see many countries for a short time, you'll choose traveling by bus or by car. If you want to be closer to nature, 
you may choose a trip on foot. Many people nowadays live in big cities, so it is natural that they want to have a holiday by the sea or in the mountains with nothing to do but relaxing. There are other kinds of travelers. They want to visit as many countries as possible. People who travel a lot are very interesting and they always have a good story to tell. Thanks to them, we can learn many things which we didn't know before. They motivate to see something new, to explore the world, which is so easy to do nowadays. Unit 136. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Household objects are never useless or out of trend. They are necessary in all houses and make the lives of the housemates easy and comfortable. One of these devices is a vacuum cleaner, which cleans dust and dirt. It is also known simply vacuum because of its work. This device sucks small particles into its chamber from a surface. This most commonly used item was invented in the 19th century. Although in 1930s only 30% of homes has one, nowadays they are found in about 98% of homes. It has been found out that they are undoubtedly the best seller's devices. There are many benefits of owning it. Having one saves time and energy and is easy to control. Vacuum cleaners are considered to be the best and most efficient way to clean allergies, dirt, and pet hairs from the home. So, it can reduce reasons of sneezing, water eyes, and improve your health. Unit 139. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Volunteering is an act that contributes to the improvement of individuals and communities. It involves offering time, skills, and resources to support a cause or organization without expecting financial compensation. Volunteering is vital in social issues, promoting equality, and creating positive change. By engaging in volunteer work, individuals can make a difference in their lives of others. Volunteer efforts can be different, from community service initiatives to humanitarian aid and disaster relief efforts. Volunteering benefits those in need and offers personal growth and fulfillment. It allows individuals to develop new skills, gain valuable experiences, and broaden their perspectives by interacting with people from different backgrounds and cultures. Additionally, volunteering increases a sense of belonging and social connection as volunteers work together towards a common goal, forming bonds and creating a network of support. The impact of volunteering inspires and motivates others to get involved, creating kindness and community engagement. Unit 142. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. As a first language, English is in the fourth place. About 380 million people are native English speakers. But English is in the first place as a second language for many other people. Over a billion people speak English for doing business, reading the news, or studying science and medicine. In some countries, English is not the native language, but it is the official language of the government and in schools. And even in London, the capital city of Britain, there are over 300 different languages. Chinese, Indian, 
Spanish and English are the big languages. About 80% of the world's population speak them. But these are only four languages, so what about the other 6,996 languages? Many countries have lots of different languages. For example, on the islands of Vanuatu, in the South Pacific Ocean, there are 65 different islands and they have 109 different languages. Finally, there are some languages with only one speaker. They are old people and they speak the language of their parents and grandparents. For example, Charlie Moldonga lives in Australia. He speaks English because it is the first language of the country. However, his native language is Amadog. It is an ancient language and he is the last speaker of this Aboriginal language. Unit 145. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. Have you ever read a book that seemed like pure magic? This mysterious book will transport you to wonderful places. From talking animals to flying broomsticks, every page is full of surprises. Characters in the book have special powers and go on amazing adventures. It's like entering a world where anything is possible. The special book is like a ticket to a world where dreams come true. You can become a brave or fearless hero, and anything you imagine can become real. Imagine opening this book and entering a land of wonder and adventure. You will meet interesting creatures solve puzzles, and maybe even discover a hidden treasure. Get ready to let your imagination fly high as you discover the charming magic of this amazing book. Unit 148 Listen to the passage and answer the questions. People often decide where they want to live based on natural resources that are available in the area. Natural resources are things that are useful to people and come from the earth. Materials for building shelter are natural resources. The mountains, lakes or oceans are natural resources as well. Each area attracts people based on their interests and purposes. Area that support many different interests naturally have larger populations. Villages and cities built near water sources have been the most successful. People who want to catch fish for a living can do that by the ocean, but cannot do in the desert. People living near water can use it to meet their daily needs. Water can also be used to transport goods to other areas for selling. But as we know, humans have always destroyed resources. They have used up those resources that cannot be easily replaced. At the same time, there are also renewable resources that can be replaced easily. We are fortunate to have many resources that are renewable such as sun, wind, water and trees. We need to focus more on using renewable resources. If we do this, we can protect our planet from further harm. Unit 149 